also ahead, hard rock on the high seas. It's a young man's game, cruising, as you can see. So, you know, it's, um, it's nice to get a holiday thrown in with, you know, the chance to deafen people at the same time. We take a look at why veteran rockers like former Genesis guitarist Steve Hackett are ditching muddy festivals in favour of cruise ships. And Philip Howe in the 1970s. Rock groups like Yes and Genesis had a huge following, selling millions of albums around the world. But now their fans are a little older. The bands have found a new way to connect with them by taking their shows on a cruise ship. Bob Howard went aboard to find out more. This is the sort of music you'd probably expect on a cruise. Gentle and soothing, but on another part of the ship, there's something rather different going on. There aren't many venues which are this relaxing for watching serious rock music. But Cruise to the Edge is definitely one. The organisers have chartered half of the 3,000 capacity Italian ship MSC Poesia for a five-day round trip from Fort Lauderdale in Florida. Carl Palmer from Emerson, Lake and Palmer is one of a host of rock stars who made their name shifting millions of albums in the 1970s who's playing on board. It's not just the music fans can enjoy. Carl is also doing a two-hour signing and photo session for those who've signed up for the VIP package. They're on holiday cruising with their favourite band. I mean, that's what they get out of it. And uh, there we are in the morning and you can see us having breakfast. Yes are the headline act and they're attracting some very serious fans indeed. Most fans considered the gig a great success, especially appreciating some rarely heard live songs. But yes, guitarist Steve Howe admits that playing on board in pretty rough seas brought its own challenges. The performances have been quite difficult because of the movement of the boat. That, that, that's not to, not to say we haven't enjoyed it, but it's, that, that's put an extra test on us. The steel guitar, which was very hilarious the first night, well I say hilarious now, of course it was driving me crazy, but it slid in a few times. Uh, it's supposed to slide in, but not when I don't want it. As well as watching the band and enjoying the facilities on board, this cruise offered two stops for fans to explore tropical destinations in the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. Okay, let's look at the long The industry has been growing at 7% per year uh, for over 20 years, and I think that the reason they've been able to do that, they've continued to reinvent their, their product, and I think that's what you're seeing now, is them being able to uh, go from general cruising to now start focusing on you know, the interests of their, of their passengers. Is this going to change the image of cruising as being sort of somewhat fuddy-duddy for, for your old folks? It's changed What do you now? mean, fuddy-duddy? Oh, yeah. Right, <laughs> yes. Well, you mean for old people? It's, it's, <laughs> it's a young man's game, cruising, as you can see. So, you know, it's, um, it's nice to get a holiday thrown in with, you know, the chance to deafen people at the same time. <laughs> In the end, it was all about the music, and spending thousands of dollars for the experience was worthwhile. Can you pick up the goosebumps? Both of us. This is probably a Prague fan's dream come true. Without question. It's the best decision we've ever made in terms of our music appreciation and taste. Despite some rough seas and only occasional glimpses of sunshine, the organizers were very happy with the way the cruise went. And now classic British rock acts are starting to appear, the promoters say they may aim even higher on the talent pecking order in future. Rolling Stones? I could totally see three ships, you know, coming into an island, a private island, and having a, you know, having the full Stones show there. So, yeah, I, there's no limit to, to what we're looking at. A part of me would have liked to have been up on stage as well, so I couldn't resist an opportunity to see if I could cut it with the best of them. Sweet Caroline. That's what you call a great gig. Yeah. Imagine if you got on there just expecting a quiet holiday. Uh, you'd have your bit of a shock, wouldn't you? You can get loads more holiday ideas, tips and advice from BBC experts by logging onto the Fast Track website, bbc.co.uk slash fast track.